one new message. What's up, Bestie? What is up? Why don't you ever pick up your phone? It's me, Elsie Parker. And you're gonna love this. The feds just rolled in and busted all the kingpins in the city. They're off the scene, out of the picture. You know what that means? Every other criminal in NOLA is turning on each other. The entire underworld is totally up for grabs. This is our chance to get out in front of the competition for good. What do you say? You ready to take the big easy by storm? Cause I'm pumped. Woo! Okay, okay, first things first. Meet me by the Mardi Gras parade tonight. We've got a place to rob. different. All we gotta do is get enough cash to start setting up a gang with. Easy, right? People tipped here, so we oh, nice. here's about this. Wow, this looked a lot better on the website. Ha, ah, this is more like it. All right, boss, let's figure out who we're up against.
So here's the situation. There's bangers and ballers posted on every corner of the city, all of them armed, all of them dangerous, and almost all of them working for New Orleans' finest, Jackson Duke. If we want to spread our influence, we gotta take these goons out block by block and claim their turf, starting with the French border. Our guy should be somewhere in the mansion. Yuri the Red has that place locked down. He's one of Duke's top men, so, you know, try not to get killed. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what a joy to shake off the shackles of indentured servitude. Uh, you see, I fell into some debt during a high-stakes game of Mahjong back in Vegas. And the boss I owed sold my debt to Duke, who's been forcing me to cook it off. <laughs> But those days are over. So I hear that you and Alon are conspiring to rebel against the mighty oppressor. Fend off the French Quarter Dragon, the Baron of Bourbon Street? Well, if you can provide me with space to pursue my experiments as a land promised, well then count me in! My allegiance is you! I uh, is this the place? It's perfect! You and Alan now have yourselves an official pharma genius. I shall be in touch. Oh, my magnum opus gone! I had the Philosopher's Stone in my hands and my protege stole it! 
He's gonna cook it for himself. Or, wait, no, no, worse. He'll sell it to the highest bidder. Or, uh, no, no, worst! They'll reverse engineer the formula! Oh, years of work ending up in the hands of Philistines! Muscle, you've got to get it back. He was always calling that big construction site uptown his happy place. I'd start there. It's a simple choice. Cook for us, or we grease our engines with your insides. You don't get it, man. I'm not a cook. I'm just an assistant. Then consider this a promotion. I can't. I'll blow myself up. <laughs> I like this guy. He's fun. Thanks. Those bikers made me steal Mr. E-Man's formula. A bunch of them ran off with it towards the sewers. Excellent! My Bolero! My Ninth Symphony! Oh, you saved it! Oh, good work, Muscle! Huh. Yeah, that carbon felonic would turn my fast food diner of a cook lab into a five star restaurant! Let's take it! And by let's take it, I mean you take it. <laughs> Here's the plan. Go to the Vamos rooftop and wait until the shipment arrives, and then commandeer the vehicle. Be, be careful, though, muscle. That stuff is military grade. Those Vamos eggheads will have military grade security to go with it.
Oh, infinite gratitude, dear friend. This will greatly improve our operations. <laughs> Here's the deal. Jackson Duke is flying in a new cook to replace me. Uh, I've heard of the man. He's surprisingly decent. <laughs> Which means we can't have him making magic dust for the bad guy. So we are going to divert the helicopter on which he is arriving. Control tower to flight WWH 34. We are um, closed for a moment. We've got a bunch of um, uh, looks like gators. They're all the tarmac. Yeah, we're sending a cleanup crew, but um, please um, divert to the coordinates we've uploaded. Okay, thanks. Over. <laughs> things about you. Your product is fantastic. We can't wait to have you working in our lab. Let's get going. There's the new concoction on the street. It's basically a crude compound of bee stock, crushed peanuts, and plumbing fluid bound with ammonium chloride. But it's out there, and people are buying it. And it's enough to cut into our profit margins. So... The good news is, I happen to know that this bubbling crude is the work of a trailer park prince who calls himself Fiddlestick. I also happen to know Fiddlestick's supplier, and his supplier likes me better. So he told me where their shipments are coming through. I shall text you the GPS coordinates, and then you can, you know, just do what you do best.
Gator Tater, you ain't never gonna catch this little piggy. Honorable Judge Tarpin has issued an eviction notice on my club. If the club gets shut down, so do a lot of our operations. This has to be a Jackson Duke move. He and the judge go way back. Thing is, Tarpin's corrupt and we got evidence and leaked it to the feds. They kicked off an investigation. He should be going down right now, but... Well, we're gonna need someone's help. Her name's Marie. Couple of quick rules. One, let me do the talking. Two, try not to look her right in the eye. And three, well... What the hell are you doing here, Alain? I don't remember summoning you. The, uh, the witnesses in the case against Judge Tarpin are starting to either clam up or disappear entirely. We need to get into the witness protection business, or Tarpin's gonna continue to be a pain in our collective asses. Only thing is, we don't know who the witnesses are. Maybe you could, like, invoke the spirits or something and find out? Yes, leave now and I will do so. I will send you their names and locations. And my boy here will find them and keep them alive. Great. Solid. Sounds like a... Okay. You got this, right?
it's me. Nice work keeping the witness alive. She testifies this afternoon, so... Judge Tarpon won't be barking up our tree anymore. Helen out. There seems to be a new spiritual presence in the vicinity, weakening my abilities. I placed a curse on a degenerate gambler to whom I had loaned a significant sum of money, as is my business, and who has now fallen behind on his payments towards said loan. I declare that if he did not repay what he borrowed by midnight last night, that he would drown inside his own limousine. That night has come and gone, and the man still lives. I don't know why. You are Alain's partner, and I have a partnership with Alain, which means we are a team. And we cannot have our enemies and those indebted to us believe in my powers are waning. We will root out the cause, but first, we need to deal with this. The gambler's car must end up at the bottom of the bayou. Find it and pick him up, posing as the driver. I'm sure you can figure out the rest. You picking me up in a good mood. I'm up nine honey, baby. Luck was a lady today. I know, I know, you're gonna lecture me about how I'm not really up considering past losses, but perspective's not very high on my priority list. Right now, Hector, we're gonna celebrate. The usual cheap sex and expensive drinks. You know the place. Let's go there. You sure it's just the right way? Hello, police! I've been kidnapped in my own car. Help! has come to pass. Let that be a lesson to those who would doubt me. Once again, my powers are faltering. Most distressing. I must discover the cause, but a more pressing matter lies for my attention. One of my former strongmen has proven to be as loyal as he is intelligent. He's working for Jackson Duke now. I swore that he would burn for his treachery. But a week has passed, and the traitor has yet to spontaneously combust. Find him, and make my prophecy come true.
Now I must focus on finding the cause of my waning abilities. I have discovered that the force is disturbing the, um, the spirits which I, um... Okay, look, I'm not a voodoo queen, okay? I I'm just a performance art major from Southern California, but I've got money. And I use that money to pay people to make my curses come true. I mean, I'm a loan shark, okay? I need people to be afraid of what'll happen if they don't pay me back. So, idiots started fearing me, and that's great, cool, but now, not so cool, because there are some freaky shenanigans happening around here. Okay, my two guys, my, um, doom makers, as I called them, they stopped answering my calls. Now, I figured they just flaked out on me, but last night, I saw them in a dream. I saw their freaking bodies all bloated and puffy, and then... They came alive and started dancing the robot. No idea what the hell it meant, but it was terrifying. Could you, like, go to where I saw the bodies in my dream and just, like, make sure it was just a dream? find a way to make this right. Anyway, thank you for your help. I'll be in touch soon. Hey, it's Marie. So I dug around on the webs and I found a spirit torment forum. They said the best way to kick unwanted ghouls and ghosts out of your life is to use a mix of five different spices to conjure the spirits. But fabulous, right? Wrong. Because I go to the Nola Do shop for the spices and, um, it happened again. They are everywhere. Even the cops are involved. They got the streets closed off. But they're scared and they won't go up against these things. You gotta get me out of here. The very helpful people on the forum are saying you've got to use the spices to summon the Lawa of the dead and ask for forgiveness. Okay, fine. According to Hoodoo Child 420, the best place to do that is a cemetery. Right, duh. Makes sense, but what the hell is the Lawa of the dead? I mean, that sounds creepy. Could you just make sure the place is clean of those things before I do this?
Whoa. Is that... But I haven't even used the spices yet. Do you think that... Okay, okay. You cannot pretend to have power you do not have. You cannot mock that which is not yours. Promise me that you will trust your own power. Right, but see, problem is, I don't have any power. All people have power, but they must find it within. Done. A deal. And no more scary dreams and ghouls coming after me, right? No more. Now go. Phew. Woza. Well, okay. With that taken care of, thanks. You've earned my loyalty, dude. My resources and my kickassery are yours. Now, what do you say we get back to taking over this town? Glad you made it, man. Someone needs our help, and, uh, you're gonna love this. Like you to meet Bradford Miles. The Bradford Miles. Grace note himself. Been years since anyone's called me that. So what can my partner and I help you with? A couple of lowlifes are about to sell a recently stolen item of particular interest to me. So we break up the meeting and retrieve the item. Sounds easy enough. Let's go. Mr. Miles doesn't play much anymore, mostly a producer now. Donut Miller, Allison Cat, Papa Charlie, all on his label. On the B-side, he's also a big player in Nola's, uh, burgle industry. Offense. Nothing moves in this town without him knowing. Like this item we're after. According to him, it could be priceless. Get out of here!
Many thanks, fellas. If this package is what I think it is, you'll be hearing from me again. Until then. That package you retrieved is exactly what I thought it was. Which means I need you and Alen to scorch some earth. I'll make it worth your while. Already told Alen, he's waiting on you. Yo, yo, all right. Drive to the address on this matchbook. Just trust me. So that stolen package, it was a trumpet. Stolen from Ronnie Bluefinger's oaths. Why is that a big deal, you may ask? Long time ago, he and Miles were the best sidemen in town until... Uh, actually, I'll tell you the rest in a second. Let's get to the spot. All right, all right. Hang tight for a sec. Okay, follow that van. He's gonna lead us to some, uh... Highly volatile materials, but don't let him make you. So, Miles and Blue Fingers, on the scene, up and coming, until Miles breaks his hand in a fight, never quite recovers, loses his mojo after that. But that's when they hear the legend of the trumpet, not just any trumpet, a magic trumpet that they say was gifted to Hot Air Willis at a Delta crossroad by the devil himself in exchange for his soul. Crazy, right? Hang on, hang on, I think we're almost there. Here we go. Take those guys out and get those materials. I'll cover you. Okay, new destination. Go. So Fingers and Miles go on this whole road trip adventure to find the magic trumpet. Think it'll help Miles get his mojo back. Only they never find it. Fingers finds it. And goes on to become one of the greats. So Fingers enjoys a great jazz career. And Miles, well, gets by all right. But you see it, right? His friend screwed him and left him behind. And Fingers owes his career to that trumpet. So we're gonna bring his career crashing down with the help of these materials we're gathering. Speaking of which... All right, do it. Let's get this stuff to eat. Oh, man, this is gonna be awesome. Most excellent! <laughs> I love fertilizer! Makes your plants radiant and your explosives... explosive. Gentlemen, I give you ridiculously explosive material! This was a rush job, so... Might want to be a good citizen by driving carefully and obeying all traffic signs and signals. Got it, E. You're the bomb. No, that's the bomb. Ha! Word. All right, playa. To Bluefinger Studios. Showtime! 
Let's park right up front and then get back. Nice work for closing on Bluefinger Studios. But with the master tapes destroyed, the value of their vinyl's about to get higher than Alice and Cat on a Thursday night. Let's make sure we profit from that. Good stuff. In a few months, we can put those records up for online auction and rake in the GDP of a small island nation in hipster money. You don't get it, Alain. You just... Fingers and I were the best side men this city'd ever seen. We were tight. And now... He had the trumpet the whole time? 
Brad, baby, I love you, man, but we have something a little more urgent to deal with than the past. Where are the hip po boys? I got a full house and no band. All right, all right, calm down. Let me call them. That's them right now. It's... It's Miguel. Says uh, they're locked up in the back of the tour van. Some cat who says he's working for Ronnie is driving. What? You know what this is? It's a band napping. He says he's hearing planes taking off. The airport. You got this? I'll keep you updated if I hear anything new. Think you can mess with your face? I know your face. How's it going, Miles? You're the son of a bitch who broke my hand over a game of pool. You're working with Ronnie, <laughs> and the last horse crosses the finish line. Ended up by my own pool table. With the money Blue Fingers paid me to break your precious little hand. <laughs> uh, not just the trumpet. He was jealous of how good I was getting. He took my hand, my music, a piece of my soul. He wanted to play the devil's horn. Well, it's time for Blue Fingers to pay the devil his due. done a lot for me, and I'm ready to join your crew. But first, one last coda. Fingers is holed up on his island. You bring him to me, and I'm yours.
and then wrote that lie all the way to the good life, leaving him behind in a cesspool of dive clubs and two bit thieves. Man, I ain't got time for this. Get rid of this fool. Screw this. I'm out of here. This ain't gonna bring his music back. Maybe we can work something out. The past is the past, man. Miles needs to let go. What's this gonna come? to where you started, Ronnie. Gutter. About half a barrel. We gonna be dry by the end of the week. Ooh, ooh! I, I, I know a guy who uh, knows a girl who's with a guy who says they're transporting some Miami kingpin? Some real badass moonshine dude? Wait. You know a guy who knows a girl? Wow. You never told me that. Man, don't be trolling me like that. It breaks my concentration and gives me frustration. Oh, come here, bro. Don't get mad. Come here. Bump it out. You a lens friend? <laughs> Just in time. My associate and I oversee a little moonshine business. We offered to partner up with your friend, Alan, but, uh... Our moonshine chef got hopped up on pixie dust and fed himself to gators. True story. Sounds like we gonna go bust some dude out of the big house to replace him. You drive. Hi. We stopped by Jack and Bear, borrowed their chopper, and then... Borrow? <laughs> you thinking you might return it? Man, you know what I'm saying? It sounds better to say borrow. So we borrowed a bird and then. We hit the prison and bucked out our moonshine. Straight forward. I like it. Get to the chopper. We'll coordinate the getaway on the phone.
It is good to be out. Five years I've been here. Felt more like 50. Now, let me guess. In return for this, you or whoever the hell you work with want me to make moonshine for you. Well, so long as you've got a shack in the woods, a portable radio, and a couple of dirty magazines, I'm your fella. I was getting tired of Miami anyhow. Oh, you got skills. Be nice to work together again. We're hot. We're serious, B. We'd be like valuable asses. <clears throat> what my esteemed colleague meant to say is that we would be valuable assets to your budding enterprise. Hey, there he is. Look, boys, love the enthusiasm, seriously, almost as much as I love the flow of moonshine, but I don't know if... D tell him about Duke. Diggs? Jackson Duke? What about him? Smith's got a theory that Duke isn't acting alone, that he and his whole crooked crew of cops, that they're part of something bigger, that they're like chess pieces and stuff. I'm listening. There's a safety deposit box in the vault at a subprime bank. A lot of power players come and go. Got a feeling there's some pretty incriminating information being kept there. Information that could bring Duke down, get him out of the picture. And how do you know about this? Let's just say I'm tight with one of the clerks. All right, fellas, consider me interested. This is your audition. Take my partner here and hit that bank. Grab some cash while you're at it. Make it look like an ordinary robbery. down south. Easier to lose a buzz on water.
we did it! Hmm, okay. Pictures of naughty time. <laughs> Must be blackmail material. Wait, 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 something else. Some papers from Duke's office. Looks like a fake ID. Some fella named Deidre. Oh, wait, I know that fool. He's a shrimp boat captain and a smuggler. Well, we got a name at least. We'll look into Ghidri and see how he plays into all this. We'll be in touch when we know more. Glad you made it. You drive. We'll talk on the way. Alright, now first, we gonna need a boat. Now I know where we can get one. Then we meet Diggs on the water. He got stuff there. Not a gas. That ID we found? Deidre? I did some poking around and found out he's been a CI for Duke. Not by choice, mind you. Duke got Deidre to flip after a bust involving his sister or some such. Anyway, he's agreed to talk and tell us what he knows about Duke and his hold on the city. He and Diggs are meeting right now. Shrimpy smuggler here says there's definitely someone pulling Duke's strings. Big meeting coming up between Duke and the honchos. Gonna be real congregation. Who's he meeting? I don't rightly know. I right, so when and where? Don't know. So all you know is that Jackson Duke is meeting someone, somewhere, at some point in the future. That's right. Mo company. Follow me. We'll shake him. Now all we gotta do is find out who Duke is meeting, and when, and where. Yeah, Diggs. We'll talk to Marie. Maybe she can help. I'll catch you later. Word. We're still digging around about that meeting with Duke and his overlords. But, uh, in the meantime, we got a new tip. One of the biker gangs is using carnival floats to smuggle money. Got a tip on one's route. You get the float and then find us. We'll be uh, prepping stage two. Digs out.
We'll grab the cash and install some fireworks. Hang tight. All right, now you gotta get this clown to a warehouse in Metairie. They're expecting it. But what they aren't expecting is that that thing is rigged with explosives. This was Diggs' idea. Did as good as I could, hooking it all up, but, uh, some of them wires are kind of wonky. You best be gentle with that thing unless you want to get blowed up. like gasoline and burnt hair, man. I know! Just like Mama's pancake. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. That's exactly what he said to me. Don't ever ask anyone about that again. That is unusual. Right? Oh, good, you made it. We found out who Jackson Duke is meeting with. Some bro named Roger Glazier, who represents some organization, thinking of crashing the party, but it'd be nice to know what we're getting into first. So we asked around, and suddenly all the usual loose lips were zipped. It doesn't make sense. When I want information, I get information. I don't get no Marie or sorry Marie can't help you. So no one knows who this cat is? I've certainly never heard this individual's name before today. No dice. Nothing. But we're still crashing the party, right? Oh, absolutely. This could be our chance to find out who's pulling Duke's strings. And if Duke takes a few rounds in the process, well, bonus.
Hey, it's Duke you want, right? He's near the refinery, other side of the river. Take my boat! Stupid are you, son? You think killing me is gonna accomplish anything? You think Nola's all yours once I'm out of the picture? Ha! So that meeting our friend JD was attending? Nothing on this Roger Glazier dog. If he was there, he was a ghost. But there was a lot of money. And show him what I found! Show him what I found! Yeah, and Diggs found this note. We trust these funds and the ongoing contributions they represent should be enough for you and your police force to push out the gangs and to establish total control over New Orleans. Remember, the syndicate does not forgive. R.G. <laughs> <laughs> 